Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about a research article that was done in 2021. I, of course, will provide the link uh, underneath the video if you'd like to read it yourself. It's super important because it talks about something that's very, very um, highly missed within the healthcare field. It talks about the diagnosis of vestibular hypofunction. Although when you have vestibular issues, one of the more common things that we always look at is BPPV. Well, what happens when you don't have that condition? That condition, generally speaking, is diagnosed and treated very quickly, very efficiently, but not everybody falls into that category of BPPV in terms of the resultant factor of why you're having dizziness um, sensations. So when it comes to vertigo or it comes to dizziness or nausea, the only real way to differentially diagnose all of these conditions is by having appropriate tests. Now you might be using a VNG, a VOG, maybe doing some simple tests like head impulse tests, um, some rotatory tests, but you have to be able to perform these tests in order to really see and to test all these different inner ear functions and sometimes more internal brain functions. The more you can test these functions out, the more you can differentially diagnose between them. So when it comes to dizziness, one of the things that this highlights is that in healthcare, we don't necessarily have a gold standard for which tests should be performed in these cases. And maybe that's because um, these conditions are treated by all sorts of different healthcare providers. But the general rule here or thing that's highlighted with this article is that we need to figure out something that's a little bit more concrete in terms of which tests should be done in which manner. And the more we perform these tests, um, the more accurately we can help these patients suffering from these conditions. So when it comes to head injuries, this is actually something you might see more commonly. So that's why I always stress appropriate testing for the patient um, so that they can have a really good way or strategy in terms of treatment going forward. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to uh, like and follow for more videos.